So I've got my skin tone here. Remember, if you click on the plus or minus, it resets all the different sliders. It's a really good habit to get into that you always reset everything else so you don't accidentally add a sharpening or a blurring or whatever you're doing um, last. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go this. I'm going to go over everything, including her um, lips and teeth in that whole area that I said here. And you can see I'm also going part over part of the hair. So there is the skin. If we take a look at that mask, I can hover my um, cursor over the uh, pin and see the mask. You can see how sloppy it is. With that mask visible, visible now what I'm going to do is I think it's much quicker to erase what you don't want rather than do a little teeny brush and go around the eyes. It's much easier just to hold down my Option or Alt key and then get my eraser and now come up here and I'm going to just erase again, not using the auto mask. I'm just going to erase the areas that I don't want the skin tone on. And again, you can see it's a big, soft, relatively big and soft brush. Maybe later on I will clean up some things around the neck, but for now I'm just taking out the um, eyes and the teeth, which is really scary looking, but appropriate for Halloween. <laughs> All right? So there is our skin tone. Done. Hit New. Click on our swatch. Let's come up here and we'll do our background. Our background was blue. Let's actually, we're going to add a little green, just kind of a muted mint green up here. You can see I've already got one here, but I can, can, I can use that Option key. Set that. We'll use that for the background um, here. And again, I'm going to even go over portions of that image. I can tap that Y key. That's going to allow me to see what I'm working on. Okay, And you can see, again, I'm getting that overlap of the hair. That may be a bit, a bit much, so I'm going to come up here and get a little bit, not be quite so sloppy in that file. But again, it's that overlapping of colors that's going to give it a really organic feel to it. Tap the Y key. There is our background. Hit New. Make sure you hit New, because if you change the swatch, well, that's still active. It's obviously going to change that. I'm going to come up here, and now we'll do, I've already got kind of a little bluish one um, chosen. We're going to do that. In the olden days, just like with Superman, there was no such thing as black hair. There was always a color in a comic book. So if you wanted to do something like um, black or even white, what you'd do is you'd come up here and you'd add a little bit of a um, blue tint to the area. And we're going to do that same thing with her dress. Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit of color, even though there is no color associated with it. And again, holding down that Option or Alt key. For a little bit of the spill, where I'm getting a little bit of carried away in here. I can see I am going to do a little bit of cleanup on that skin. And again, even something like that, where I'm staying away from an edge, is fine with me. Okay, so there is a little bit of blue. You'll notice that the blue is almost non-existent down in the white because it's only taking where there's an inherent tone and changing that. It is translucent or transparent. And therefore, if there is very little tone, it's going to have very little effect. But in a second, we'll be able to change that. Again, that's the great thing about um, Adobe Camera Raw. Um, and let's do another one. Let's do a little red because we do have some accent colors going on here. I've got a little red already chosen. We're going to come up here and we'll come up here to the lips and we're going to come up here and we'll do a little bit more um, detail work. Yesterday I mentioned if I am doing retouching on a portrait like this and I've got these very sharp little corners I'll do one, hold down that Option or Alt key, and it's much easier to erase to get that sharp corner than come up here with a teeny tiny brush. So again, that is something I'm going to do. I'll do the lower lip, and then hold down that Option or Alt key in order to fine tune that shape. You'll notice again, I am using my Wacom here, and even if you're not doing a lot of painting work, any kind of retouching is always going to be better with uh, Wacom in their stylus. This is the new Intuos Pro, which is awesome. Highly recommend it. 
Let's do one other little touch here. I'm going to do the cheeks, um, add a little blush to it. I can try going in here and just tapping. That actually looks like a, a pretty good level. Remember, you do have density. If I wanted to do different intensities of red throughout the file, like the lips would be a brighter red and the cheeks would be less, there's nothing stopping you from changing density and then clicking in that area and you actually can make it, in a sense, two different intensities of that same red. But in this case, that little tint right there is working for me. So I've got my cheeks, I've got my um, skin tone, I've got my hair, that skin tone, I can click back on um, any of the areas, that's the, the skin tone right here. I'm going to hold down my Option or Alt key, and there's just a little bit too much spill in the hair. I want to keep that my nice color there. So now I'm fine tuning it. If I want that skin tone, should she have blue eyes or should she have brown eyes? Blue. Blue. So if we have blue eyes, we're simply going to come up here on our blue for our hair. Again, I could use this number, any number of colors just because I have swatches doesn't mean that I have to you know, I'm limited to those five. I can make it whatever I'd like. So let's come up here, and I'll be adding a blue tint to it. Okay, so now she has blue eyes. If I want, I can click back on that skin. It looks like I got a little sloppy with the eyes, and I don't want, you know, I want the um, going around the eyes. I do. Don't mind the whites of the eyes being white. Same thing with the teeth. Okay. You could add a little bit of blue to the teeth if you wanted to. Like I said, there's no white per se, but we'll just say that is our hand tinting effect. 